Welcome to the Down to Earth Kitchen. My name is Andrea, and today we're going to share one of my favorite recipes for the holiday season. This is a vegan gingerbread cake that features all of the classic gingerbread ingredients with a few healthy twists. Before you begin your cake, preheat your oven to 350 degrees and lightly grease your 8x8 baking pan. You can add a small piece of parchment paper to the bottom to ensure that our cake does not stick. We're going to start with one tablespoon of ground flax seeds mixed with one tablespoon of water. These ingredients together, along with our pureed pumpkin, act as an egg replacer in this vegan cake. We're also gonna stir in some liquid coconut oil, a half a cup of dark, rich molasses, A half a cup of brewed coffee or herbal coffee. I like the Ticino brand for my baking recipes. Some sucanat or brown sugar. And a little bit of agave nectar just to amp up the sweetness a little bit. Once your wet ingredients are fully combined, we can set that aside and move on to the dry. We're gonna sift together all-purpose flour some whole wheat pastry flour, lots of ginger, some cinnamon, some baking soda, and some salt. Sifting your flour is a very important step because it ensures that all of your ingredients get incorporated nicely and that your cake turns out light and fluffy. We're gonna stir all of the dry ingredients into the wet. This becomes a very runny batter, so don't be alarmed if it seems too thin. It will thicken up nicely. You may want to use a whisk for this, but you may want to switch to a spatula. Just depends on how thick your batter is. Once your batter is fully incorporated, pour it into your prepared baking pan. And then we're going to smooth the top gently, just to ensure that our cake bakes evenly. Let your cake cool in the pan for 10 to 15 minutes, and then once it's cool enough to touch, you can flip it over onto a cooling rack and let it cool completely before frosting. Once your cake has fully cooled, you can begin frosting it. I like to start with about a half a cup of frosting and spread it evenly and smoothly across the top of your cake. Once your cake is fully frosted, you can garnish with some toasted ground pecans, walnuts, or almonds to make your cake look just that much fancier. Thank you for watching. We hope that this recipe and the hundreds of others that we have on our website will inspire you and your family to have a happy, healthy holiday season.